Today on the channel, we unbox the new Ultimate Edition of The Fiend. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting down to the business. We've got the brand new WWE Ultimate Edition from Mattel and this set is a heavy hitter set. They're trying to put their stamp back on the Ultimate Edition after a little bit of a dip I think as far as retail and I think The Fiend and Hollywood Hulk Hogan which will be in another unboxing video. Those are the two that are going to bring uh, the Ultimate Editions back to the forefront back to the store shelves on a consistent basis, hopefully, and hopefully not just at Target. Hopefully we'll be able to get these everywhere. But The Fiend is one everybody said from the get-go, we need an Ultimate Edition, and the time has come, and we're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it today. We're also going to compare it to The Fiend Elite from, uh, what was that, Series 77 or Top Picks, basically the same figure. Um, but let's take a look at what's in the box first. There he is in the box. So we're used to the shoebox style of these Ultimate Editions. Um, they're, they're not brand new to us. We've seen these before. Um, some people like them. Some people hate them. I'm kind of in the middle on them. I'd almost rather have it in more of a traditional box. I guess trying to dif differentiate itself from uh, the regular elites and the basics and stuff like that. I just don't know if it's a very good displayable. Uh, whenever I think mint on card display, I think hanging on a wall. Uh, I think a lot of people I see display these like this sideways. And nothing against you guys that do that. I just feel like I'm buying it for the figure, not for the box. Uh, I could just buy the, a picture and put that up. It's no different. I don't know. I just don't get it. But I do understand space limitations. Uh, we all get there at some point. That is uh, what happens with any collection. Um, but there it is. Uh, your typical Ultimate Edition package. I'm not sure what to think about this one right off the bat. Uh, a couple of different arms in there, obviously. That title belt, the Fiend belt, that is uh, probably the best accessory of, as a part of this and a pretty solid accessory we have not had in the past. you got the jacket. So you can have him with jacket on, with jacket off. Uh, you got uh, two different head scans. So technically, you could buy two of these and have two basically totally different figures if you wanted to. Uh, one miss in this, and a lot of people have probably made the comment, first thing I know is there's no lantern. Uh, that is a miss, especially since they've already made that with the Elite. Um, you think they could have stuffed that in there, but I guess not. I mean, if it's going to be an Ultimate Edition, and you're going to make the claim, hey, this is the Ultimate Fiend. An Ultimate uh, usually means, hey, this is the only Fiend you'll ever need for this incarnation. It covers all the bases. It's the Ultimate Edition. And they're kind of there. They got that title belt. You got the ring outfit. You got the jacket outfit. You're just missing the lantern. So it's truly not ultimate in my definition of an ultimate figure. Um, there's the side of the package. There's the other side. And as you guys know with me, I did buy two of these. One, I am keeping them in the box. A mint on card set and a loose set. So I did buy two of these. There you go. You got the Fiend up top and down below representing both looks that you can do in this. Uh, let's read the back of the package. Six foot three, 191 M. Hmm, that's interesting. From Parts Unknown, one of the best times of the year around Christmas time, Parts Unknown, is known for their light display for Christmas. I strongly recommend heading Parts Unknown to see some Christmas lights, especially this year. They're really going all out at Parts Unknown this year. Definitely check it out. Finisher of the Mandible Claw, Career Highlight Universal Champion. Inside the Firefly Funhouse, Bray Wyatt has an underlying air of sinister intent. There is nothing underlying about his horrific alter ego, The Fiend. Birthed from the unsettling dark corners of Bray Wyatt's mind, the ghoulish fiend awaits anyone who's ready to play. All you have to do is let him in. There you go. Just let him in and you'll be set. There's the top of the package. All the legal fun you could ever want down on the bottom. So there it is. Let's get down to it. Let's open him up. Let's see what's going on here. I always struggle opening these up. There's always one tape I miss. Let's see if I can get it right this time. There's always one weird one. Oh, it's this one up top. That always gets me. All right, we're opening them up, pulling them out. Nothing too much. It's the ultimate WWE action figure you always wanted. So there's a little description of the Ultimate Editions on the side there. Besides that, nothing else. 
See you later. Oh, three-pointer. All right, there's the old glamour shot. So I did choose to open this one up. As my other one, his hair was back like it should be. This one's in front of his face. I'm not sure which is better. I preferred the look of the other one, so I decided to unbox this one. There you go. Look at all that stuff. A lot of accessories here. Got his coat. Coat comes with a little plastic bubble inside to protect it. See you later. We see that every once in a while. Comes with the extra head. With the tongue sticking out, that's uh, an interesting one. All right, pull the figure out. Oh, he's buckled in there. Let me, got these hands are buckled in as well, so I gotta bust those out. I feel like I'm opening up a Marvel Select figure. What's going on here? Put these out. One, two. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, see you later. There it is. Let's take a look at this belt. Very cool. Probably the accessory of the set, obviously. The accessory of the set. Very cool belt. You Fiend fans, I'm sure, absolutely love this. I showed the head. Here's the extra two hands. Whoop, throwing them around. Good grab. I saved it. Hurt and heel, of course. And then you got the figure. So it's your typical Ultimate Edition as far as it doesn't have the traditional ab crunch we see in uh, the typical Elites. It's more of a diaphragm type joint. Ooh, that was a tough joint there. I thought I was going to actually break the elbow. Um, I actually like the base of this one, the legs and the feet compared to the Elite. Uh, we'll take a look. We'll compare them here soon. But uh, it's kind of, I don't know if stubby is the right word, but it works. It works really well. Those legs I like. I like the base of those legs. Um, I do like the torso and chest more on this one than the Elite. I feel it's... Uh, I feel that elite, the chest was too big. There's something just a tad off with that. Uh, great detail on the uh, tattoo work. I mean, it's just insane, the amount. Uh, I love the colorful tattoos that kind of take your eye. Uh, I think that is very solid on this one. I like that a lot. Very, very good. i uh, show the back here. There it is. Of course, you know these are going to fit on a ringside stand. Uh, we did see the first uh, Ronda Rousey, one of the first Ultimate Editions we got, did not fit on a ringside stand because she didn't have a hole in her foot. So he does have a hole, fits on the stand, no no problems there. I uh, should mention he does have that ultimate toe articulation. I don't know if a lot of us are really using toe articulation, but it's there if you need it for something. If uh, you got a reason for it, you can always uh, go for it. Um, let's compare it to the regular Elite 77, uh, the blonde hair edition with the lantern. You can see that right there. Uh, most of you guys probably have this one by now. This is probably one of the hottest figures that have come out uh, definitely in 2020 for Mattel with the Elites. I'm going to try to compare the two. Um, you know, it's a lot of the same stuff. You know, I don't know. Is there enough meat on the bone? Is there enough of a difference to warrant the extra 10 to even $20 price point on the difference? I definitely like the, the bottom half better on the Ultimate Edition. I like the coloring better. I like just the base of it better. The boots are, are tremendous, the thick boots. Um, I don't know. Let me check these heads, too. So I like the sticking the tongue out head, and then I like this head. Uh, this is probably the worst of the three that came on the Ultimate Edition. Hmm. But as far as paint application issues, I have no paint application issues on uh, the Fiend for the Ultimate Edition or the, the Elite one. Uh, which is nice. You know, uh, we've had a lot of issues with Mattel over the last few sets as far as paint application problems. Uh, no issues here. Um, let me pull his arms off. Let's build the other fiend. Let's see which one we truly like more, huh? Well, i got to put his jacket on first, don't I? That would have been almost a, a mistake. And we'll switch heads while we're at it, too. Let's pop that other head on. So it's choose your own adventure time once again. Let's see what we like. I am probably leaning towards this coat look because the ultimate is not in the coat. So it gives a little point of differentiation. Uh oh, let me get this in here. Uh, I do like there is a WrestleMania basic coming out. Uh, I think you can get it already right now from Ringside Collectibles. Uh, I really like the looks of that basic. I'm not a huge basic guy. I do pick and choose, and I do think I may buy that one. Or I may get another one of these uh, ultimate editions. Maybe the price will go down, it'll get a little cheaper, there'll be a deal somewhere along the way. Maybe I'll pick that up. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but I do need a jacket, Fiend. 
in a non-jacket. Well, that head doesn't go on as smooth as I would like. I don't know. I think he looks better without the coat and stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys can tell me. Um, there he is with the jacket. There it is. There it is. There it is. There's the old back. I don't know. I, I thought I was going to like him a lot more in the jacket. I don't know if I like this head. Let me see if this head looks better. I don't know. Come on. There we go. Pop. Boy, I don't know. I, I'm just not sold on the on the two heads. I thought the one sticking the tongue out looked a little bit better, but when I had it on him, I wasn't that big of a fan. I don't know. I don't know. You guys can tell me, I guess. A little comparison. Um, hmm. I'm kind of perplexed a little bit. I don't know. I I wanted to really like this figure, but I don't know if there's enough meat on the bones that. For you guys that are only choosing one, you may be okay with your Elite for this one. Uh, I'd like to say it's uh, better than it is. It's not. Like I said, the best thing on this Ultimate Edition for me is the lower half. I think the new legs, uh, the thicker new boots look way better. Ten times better than this one. But top up, it's basically the same song and dance. You are missing a lantern, lantern uh, like a young green lantern. But missing the lantern on this one, I think, is a big miss if you're going to really call this an Ultimate Edition. I'm wondering, uh, I do like the belt. So, I mean, it's really forcing you to buy both of these figures. You need the lantern from this one. You need the belt one from this one. Uh, I'm sure this will be a, a, just a great seller no matter what. Fiend Mania is uh, running wild right now. Her and Alexa, Him and Alexa Bliss being the team that they are. Um, and it's truly a two-in-one figure, so it does have that going for it. But I don't know. It's not my favorite Ultimate Edition ever, uh, but it's it's okay. I'm just going to put it in the okay. It's not the worst, not the best. It's okay. It's definitely better than that Shinsuke Nakamura. We really didn't need that in an Ultimate Edition. Um, and I truly think that Shinsuke was part of the reason this line struggled a little bit. That clogged shelves so bad, turned retailers off, uh, and away they went from there. But um, a must-have? Maybe. $30, I think it's probably worth it. you got to ask yourself, look yourself in the mirror, take that long, hard look that all of us collectors have to do sometime and decide if this one's for you. So you guys tell me in the comments, is this one for you? Or are you planning on picking up this Ultimate Edition? Are you like me? Are you grabbing two and possibly three? I I'm thinking against three now. I think that Mattel Basic will uh, fit the boat for me in that WrestleMania series. That's probably my plan. I don't think I'm going to buy three of these anymore. Uh, but you guys tell me. I'm sure a lot of you guys picked up the uh, set Elite 77. Tell me which one you like better, all that fun stuff. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Putting out new content every single day. And uh, putting out multiple videos a day on some days. Just trying to get through some of this stuff for you guys. Um, but that's all we got for the two fiends. I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.